Hello and welcome to Physics Problems One by So here is a problem. As always, read it maybe once, maybe twice, and then pause the video and try to solve it yourself. I'm starting a new playlist with this clip, and it will be dedicated to forces only. Because uh, I will typically forces, they talk about forces together with the second law of motion. Um, and I try to avoid talking about second law of motion at all. Uh, but I'm not sure I would be able to avoid it completely, but maybe I, by passing will mention in those clips. But the whole goal, the whole goal of this playlist is to be able to find the forces. Because this is the foundation, this is the very first level, how you solve mechanics, dynamics problems. You have to determine forces. And I will give a couple simple examples in those clips. And the first clip they're asking us, the body is thrown under V0 and angle alpha and it's flying and we know from kinematics that it's parabola and we know how to determine height and length and time and everything. We know acceleration, but now forget about acceleration for a moment. Because what causes acceleration is a force. This is a fundamental thing, and I already touching on second law of motion. Uh, but force is the reason why acceleration exists. And we have, first of all, to determine forces. And what are the forces that are acting here? And to ask uh, about the force, what it is, we have to ask ourselves interaction, interaction, interaction between bodies, physical bodies, causes the force. In other words, and I will put it and keep it for several clips for this playlist, to find the force force ask what are other bodies, this one, this body, is interacting with. This is the main question. So, if we have a body that's flying, what are other bodies that this body is interacting with. It's only one body. It's only one force. And this body is Earth. Earth and gravitational force. And gravitational force close to the surface of Earth is Mg. I will be returning to this many, many times. I uh, will explain why it is Mg and how it's related, mm, gravitational force and G, how they related, and then when we will be discussing several playlists down the road, gravitational laws uh, of Newton, that masses gravitate to each other, and how it depends from the distance between masses. We will come to this again, but for the time being, uh, all we have to understand here that this is a gravitational force and this is mg. It is not a weight. No way. It's just gravitational force because this is Earth and this is body and they communicate with each other and interact with each other through the force. And 
If the body is here, the force is here. The body is here, the force is here. The body is here, the force is here. It's the same force. You may ask, but body have been thrown, who was acting with a throwing force, throwing force, which is again not present here. It's, there is nothing. Throwing force is when the body is sitting, and it may be bow and arrow. And we will pull the string, and then we will shoot the arrow, and then there would be force that shooting the arrow. But as soon as it's released, it's only MG. There may be like a cannon, and cannonball, and gunpowder, and it's just boom, explodes, and there are gases, and gases pushing this cannonball forward and it flies but the moment this happens the moment this happens um, there is only one force only one force we already detached with flying and it's only one force and this force is gravitational force gravity not weight, no nothing, just gravity. And that's the only force that it's happening here. And another point, another important thing that I want to put here, that we always, and I want to put it here, point mass. We will be talking always about point mass in those examples. We will, it may be a cannonball, it may be an arrow. But for our purposes, it would be a single point where all the mass is concentrated. It's abstraction, and we don't care how it rotates or how the arrow behaves. No internal forces between. It's just one. Whether this is a brick, we don't care. We always will, instead of brick, we always will, well, I may draw a brick, but we always apply all the forces to the center of the brick. So for all our goals and purposes, we will be talking about point mass. Point mass. So, of course we can say that if we were flying here in the air, there is a resistance from the air, the drag. Of course this would be like a force directed straight against this velocity. If velocity is here, V, there would be another force. And when velocity would be turned, the, uh, the drag would be this way. And here the drag would be this way. And of course we may think that there would be a wind blowing across. And then the, this wind will create this force. Or wind may be blowing, helping us, and this would be another force. But in all those problems, we will... 99.9% .9 we will be ignoring those resistance forces and it always would be body flying one single force is here and that's all we have to remember and the next clip I will decide I will describe some other situations when there may be a couple other forces uh, so if you like, subscribe, bell, and ask your questions, everything will be fine. Thank you.